What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we do have this mountain. Yes, mountain. This is a mountain. What are you, crazy, Brad? This is totally a mountain of WWE Custom Elite figures. Some of them are fix-ups, some of them are painted, and a lot of them are Finn Balor because you guys, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen a lot of these Finn Balors that we have been posting over the last week. I did eight straight days of custom Finn Balors. They are in this video. Um, the last time I showed you guys the Finn Balors, a lot of them were unfinished, and I think a couple of them are unfinished still today. But we do have some updates on them, and they do look a lot better. And uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of fix ups in here. We have some customs, and we have some figures that we did on WWE Action Figure Surgery yesterday. If you guys missed episode 16 of WWE Action Figure Surgery, be sure to go check that video out. Really fun episode. I think it was about 21 minutes, and you guys can hang out with me and build some custom elite WWE action figures. So definitely go check that out on the channel. But uh, let's go ahead and dive into my mountain right here, guys. We can move this out of the way, and we'll start off with Kurt Angle right here. If you guys guys did miss that episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, we did create this out of the Elite 66 Kurt Angle and the SummerSlam Basic, and what we did was basically just a head swap, and I'm actually thinking of buying another one of these and doing another fix-up, which is going to be really epic, which will probably be in a future episode of Action Figure Surgery. I don't know when I'm going to order the parts and stuff to make it, but I really love the way this turned out. I think this is one of my favorite fix-ups we did, and I can't seem to put this figure down for some reason, so I really do like the way it came out with this switched head scan looks absolutely phenomenal. Our next figure, guys, is the Custom Elimination Chamber 2018 Finn Balor. I think the last time you guys saw this figure, the back of the figure was not completed. We didn't have the stripe on there, and we did not have the uh, the Balor Club logo colored in yet, so you guys can see this is what it looks like when it all, is all finished, and I really do love it. I love the blue color, how it came out. Looks absolutely beautiful. The only thing that can make it better is a sculpted beard on the head scan, and I don't know if I'm going to do it, or I may have to go to somebody to get that done, but I I think this uh, turned out phenomenal. I love doing this custom every single minute of it, and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So I have my very own Elimination Chamber Finn Balor. The next Finn Balor that we have, guys, is the Elimination Elimination Chamber. What are you, a stupid idiot moron? We just did Elimination Chamber. This is Money in the Bank 2018. We have the Navy slash Spider-Man attire, and you guys can see on the back you got the red and the white on there. Absolutely beautiful looking attire. I love this attire when he first wore it. And I don't know if you guys can tell. We can zoom in. You guys can see the little glitter I added to the trunks. I don't know if you guys ever got the updated glitter look. I still have to put the decal on there. I'm waiting to put the decals on there. But uh, we did add the glitter to the knee pads, the kick pads, and the trunks. And it made this figure look even better than it did before. And I'm really excited for the way this one came out. So we have the Money in the Bank 2018 Finn Balor. Looks freaking beautiful, and I cannot wait to uh, finally complete that. The next Finn Balor that we have that I have not showed you guys yet is the Custom Elite Finn Balor from NXT TakeOver UK Blackpool. Look at how epic this thing is. I'm very happy with the way this thing came out. I did add the BC logo on the front of the trunks. This attire wasn't very, you know, different than anything he's ever worn. It was not that different from anything. Nothing out of the ordinary, but he did bring back the New Japan style knee pads, which are hand-painted by yours truly. And I did add the white kick pads with the gold trim to the shoes. He did have gold trim on his shoes. And then, of course, he did have these little designs on the back of his kick pads. And there you go. I, one thing that I'd like to do is possibly switch out the calves with some black calves, but for the most part, I really am happy with it. I'm pleased with the way it came out, and uh, yeah, you guys really seem to like this one on Instagram. So I wanted to show it off here in a video, so we have Blackpool Takeover NXT UK Finn Balor. The next Finn Balor that we do have, guys, is Survivor Series 2017, and this is freaking nice. I love the red color. I don't know if we've done anything to this figure since the last time you guys saw it, but we did update it. We got the uh, bright red, we got the black designs on there. Really nice color. It's pretty much just like his Elimination Chamber attire, but it is in bright red instead of blue, and it's absolutely beautiful. The only thing we have to do is the BC logo on the front, but that Finn Balor turned out absolutely beautiful as well. The next Finn Balor that we have, guys, is one that I have not showed you guys, and you guys are probably wondering, MDT, you just showed us that one. No, this is Survivor Series 2017, and this is Royal Rumble 2018. It's like a more brightish, or this one's more bright red, and this one's more of like a brick or Monday Night Raw red. I really don't know how to explain it, but um, he wore the same shoes at both events. You guys can see there. It's the same shoes. Uh, the, the attire is pretty much the same, except he had a red logo right here. He had a red logo here, but they're two different shades of red. You guys can clearly tell, tell that. This is more of a darker red, and 
I really do like the way this came out. This is more updated. I did this one, I think, two days ago or something, and both of them turned out nice. I really am happy with them. Even though they're not that much different, I do like having, you know, each of each attire. So that's really sick there. So that is Royal Rumble 2018 Finn Balor. Next up, we have another Finn Balor, and it is the Extreme Rules Finn Balor with the silver or gunmetal gray with the black stuff all around it where he fought Trash Corbin. Really like the way this custom turned out. We got the bright silver on there. BC logo, little triangle pattern on there. And uh, the Balor Club logo, I did add the decal there, so that is finally fit. This one's completely finished. I don't have anything else to do with this one, so I'm very happy with that. One thing about the Royal Rumble one is that I still have to do the triangle on the back here, and I have to add the black to the back of the kick pads, but that will be no issue. That'll be a really simple thing to do. So that one's kind of pretty much done, but this one is completely done with the logos and everything. So thank you to Curb Stomp for this, uh, these epic decals that we're going to add to our figures here and our Finn Balors. So that is the Extreme Rules Finn Balor. Up next we have another Finn Balor and it is No Mercy 2017 and this one is so sick. I am actually very, very proud of the way this came out. I think the last time you guys saw this on YouTube it was a work in progress but we have finally finished it here. We have the gray with the white triangles on the sides. I still have to add the BC logo here and I have to add the Balor Club logo there. Uh, the knee pads are finished, the kick pads are finished, everything's done except for adding the decals, but I'm really happy with the way the grays turned out. Um, it flows so nicely, I think the grays are really accurate to the attire when Finn Balor wore it. And he still wears this to live events to this day, so I'm very happy with it. Um, if you guys are wondering what paint I use, it is Ceramcoat from Hobby Lobby. I've showed you guys in multiple figure videos before. Uh, go back on the channel and just look, but uh, all the paint turns out very smooth. It, it works like a charm, and uh, I love it a lot, so you definitely want to pick up that ceram coat, and it is how I did all of these custom battlers, so you definitely want to invest in some of that. Next up, we have my custom Money in the Bank Seth Rollins, where he took on Elias, I do believe, and speaking of Elias, we not only have a custom Seth Rollins from that event, but we do have this fix-up Elias, which is not from that event, but and since we were talking about Elias, here's the entrance greats Elias. I'm not going to do a full review on it because there's a lot of those out on YouTube, and I got it late, and it's just really stupid. So here is the fix-up Elias with the flashback exclusive Walmart Elite Scott Hall figures shirt on there. This used to be on my other Elite 60 Elias, but I put it over here. I think it looks a lot better with the cream pants and everything. Really like this Elias figure a lot. And it, I think the uh, the Hawaiian shirt really brings out the figure with the uh, lighter colors and everything. What do you guys think? Do you like the black pants better or do you like the cream pants? I like the cream pants and it's not even close. But here is that Seth Rollins. I've showed this off on the channel before. We even did a custom tutorial on making this figure. If you guys would like to check that out, that is live on the channel right now. But the last time you guys saw it, I'm pretty sure it didn't have the chest hair. So I did add the chest hair. I finally found a pencil at my house and I add the stomach hair and the chest hair and it turned out nice. I'm very happy with it. Looks absolutely bad. A eh? Got the belt buckle logo on there and everything is perfect. Looks just like Money in the Bank Seth Rollins. So there is that figure. Next up guys, we do have a bunch of figures that we did on action figure surgery and I'm going to run through them really quickly. We have the live event Finn Balor attire in the white. We did switch out the legs for William Regal legs. Really happy with the way this one came out. We have a ton of custom Finn Balors in this video. I can tell you that. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it's all the eight I worked on in a row. I did them eight days in a row of custom Finn Balors. And uh, this, this just looks beautiful. You guys know how I feel about the color white, my favorite color. People say it's not a color. Well, it's all the colors put together, basically, so just get out of my face. I'm just kidding, guys, but seriously, get, get out of my face. But for real, though, love the way this Finn Balor looks. Epic stuff. If you'd like to know how we made this, go back on the last two episodes of Action Figure Surgery, and you will figure out how we made that. Uh, we do have two different custom Aiden Englishes. We took the Elite 66 and did a head and arm swap with my custom Elite NXT Aiden English. And now we have this updated one with the Elite 65 head scan, the arms, and uh, the Sheamus torso instead of the smaller torso that it came with. And we did put these Battle Pack head and arms from the NXT Battle Pack on there. And it looks sick, nasty farticles. So I really am happy with both of these Aiden Englishes. Kind of crazy that I have two of those in my collection. We have the Elite 65 Rusev with the head repainted because uh, it looked terrible 
Well, when I first got it, so I did repaint the head scan and I added this custom shirt and we also added smaller knee pads. So now we have this fix up Rusev, which we did talk about on action figure surgery. And then the last two figures that we have in this video, guys, to complete our mountain, we have Tyler Bate with some different boots on there, the Bob Backlund Walmart exclusive Elite 63 boots. And then we have William Regal with some bigger legs that we switched out with Finn Balor. And uh, it, looks, it looks sexy sauce. So that is pretty much it. For all of my uh, mountain of custom figures, I did move the Finn Balors over here. I didn't want to leave them in that stack for too, too long because, you know, you don't want paint chipping and all that good mess, but we do have Seth and a couple more Finns over here, a couple more. That's clearly three, but um, that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I wanted to update you on the Finn Balors to let you know what is going on. I still have five or so more left to uh, do, and I don't know what attires I'm going to do just yet. A lot of people want me to do NXT attires. A lot of people want me to do his New Japan attires, and um, they do want me to do like a couple live event attires. So I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. There are a couple figures that I would like to do, um, but I'm just trying to figure out the ones that I want, you know, the ones that I truly want to do, because once I'm out of them, I'm going to have to order more Top Talent Spin Balors, and then I'm going to have to do more customs. But I will not stop until I have all the different, you know, non demon attires. It's just what I wanted. I mentioned it multiple times on my channel in videos leading up to Christmas and I got all those Finn Balor so I'm gonna get, you know make the most out of them and we're going to make as many custom Finn Balors as possible and that's just what we're gonna do but thank you guys so very much for watching Vindication episode number 11 or is it 12 I think it's 11 is coming very soon I am on the last match right now and it will be up in the next couple days or so and we will get that up to you guys, and we will continue on to the MDT Royal Rumble. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.